But first up here tonight, the fight between homeowners and developers and the future of two popular golf courses now at stake. Tonight, Carson Chambers with the story. This is so rare. The green space behind her home. The golf courses, the green spaces that are left in Pinellas County are far and few between. Is one of Pinellas County's only public golf courses. We may not ever be able to match the dollars of a developer, but collectively we matter. And we have to speak up and say this is not okay. Soon, Barmore Golf and Tennis Club is set to be sold off to a developer. Wheelock Communities wants to build 400 new homes here, plus commercial space. The 150 acres will absorb thousands and thousands of gallons of water in an hour. I mean, there's been studies. It's, it's a valid fact. So if you start paving that, where's all the water going to go? It's not just the added homes and concrete that neighbors are concerned about. It's also the added cars on already busy roads like Starkey and Brian Derry. We're joining forces with the Tides Group, uh, which is still battling uh, a, a couple developers with their case. Um, what we're trying to do here is, is not make this about me and, and my property. This is about Pinellas County. Neighbors like Bill Foley plan to rally Saturday, taking their message from their front yards to Waterfront Park. We want commissioners and the rest of the community to say, no, you cannot rezone this. We have to protect our recreational open spaces. You said in your master plan that was important. In Seminole, I'm Carson Chambers, ABC Action News.